Hello, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. I am coming on a little earlier today because I realized for some of you, it may be too late and you're already going to be sitting down for dinner. And I wanted to make sure that I got this message to you and get on here to share some good thoughts with you before the day started going on. It's nine o'clock here in Maui and I'm just kind of getting up and getting rolling. So first off, happy, happy Thanksgiving. I'm so grateful for you. I'm grateful for your presence inside of our group. I'm grateful for the opportunity to share all of the things that I've learned to help me um, find peace with my body and food, to share that with you. Because quite honestly, the more I share, the more I stay clear and the more that I'm able to continue to have that peace with food and peace with my body. So let's talk about this day. Happy Thanksgiving, right? As my husband calls it, happy stuff your face with food, national holiday, right? For some people, that's what it is. And really it is about, that's kind of the symbol that that's what can happen. But the symbolism of that is that we have so much, there's so much bounty, there's so much prosperity that we get to fill ourselves. And for some of us, it is a time of joy and connection and family, which feels really good. But for some of us, we may be going through loss right now. Maybe someone is not there this year that was there last year, and we're not feeling very happy. We're not feeling very grateful. And maybe coming to family or not having a place to go to is really painful, right? So, you know, family dynamics are family dynamics, whether it's in this light of Thanksgiving or not. So these heightened moments in time can be so much pressure, right? There's so much pressure around this one meal, right? And for a lot of us in this group, that pressure can be, how can I make it through with not binging? How can I not eat too much? How can I not eat too much? But I want to eat too much because I love this food and I want to, I, I, I really want to enjoy all of it, right? So I'm bringing this up because I want you to know that I know and I see and I feel and I hear you when you may be feeling like, whew, this is more, I'm feeling emotional and I don't even know why, right? Or I'm feeling angry or upset or frazzled or whatever those feelings are that you're feeling, you're allowed to have them. It is a heightened day and it is a day of um, pressure. It can be, right? So what do we do about that? Well, the first thing is to be aware of that. And the second thing is to give yourself a break, really give yourself a break, take some breaths. And we're going to do that here together in, in a few minutes, but I want you to take as much space for yourself as you can today. I know it may, that may not be possible when you're around a lot of people, but if it is find a moment, take an extra moment while you're in the restroom to calm yourself, find your center, feel your feet on the ground. When you're with someone who does give you connection and you feel really good with, breathe that person in, feel that connection with that person and allow yourself to enjoy it. And also it's really important for us to know that we have each other in this place. So this group has been designed for you to be able to come on to, to the page and say, I'm struggling with this. I'm concerned about this happening at my din at Thanksgiving dinner. I'm concerned about my food. I'm, I, I'm afraid I'm gonna eat too much pumpkin pie, whatever that is. That's what that, this group is for. It is for us to lift each other up. And for someone to say, yes, I know exactly how you feel, because what I know from witnessing you all 
is that we all have very similar experiences and things that are happening. We're together in this. So even if you don't come on and write anything to know that there's other people feeling the same way that you are. So what I would like to do right now, let's see. There's one more thing I wanna share before we go into a little meditation. I wanna share about our, uh, literally about the food. So you may eat more than you want to today and you may get uncomfortably full. And is it possible for you to have that reality and not make your food be what is creating your sanity or creating whether it's a good day or a bad day? Or that if you ate a lot, now then tomorrow you have to pay for it. Is there a way for you to let that go? Can you have an intention of however my food is today, I'm going to give myself a break. I'm gonna allow myself to have this experience and not go into shame, blame, guilt, or the repercussions of what you have to do tomorrow, right? So you are allowed to eat more than normal. You're allowed not to. So in my next video that I'm going to share with you, I'm going to talk about FOMO around, around food and the holidays. Cause that seems to be a big topic that I've heard people share is, you know, I want to eat this food, because I'm never going to get it. I'm not going to get it again until next, until next year, right? So there's this fear of missing out. So we're going to talk very specifically about that. So we're going to do a little meditation together. Now, if you are watching this on the replay a couple of days later, I want you to know that I did this meditation for you. If you're not able to find access to a place of peace within you, I'm going to find that peace within me so that I can share it with you. If you're not able to breathe and it feels like too much to soften and to breathe, I'm going to do that for you. Okay. All right. So for those of you who did reach out for the food relief session, thank you. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, I will put a link below. If you are interested in a holiday food relief session with me, it's complimentary. In this session, we will dive into some of your challenges that you have around food around the holidays, and I will help you. I'll give you a plan, and we'll even look at where some of these challenges are coming from, where the root causes. So this is an opportunity for you to get some one-on-one -on -one feedback from me. So if you're interested in that, I will put the link below. Okay. So this is going to be very short. Go ahead and close your eyes if you are able. And I'm going to be sending you some Reiki right now. So Reiki, for those of you who don't know, is, a, is an energy healing. It is the energy of unconditional love. It allows our body to relax and to release stress so that we can find our center and we can move through life from a connected soul space. So I'm calling in this beautiful divine light and energy, the energy of the stars, the energy of God. And I invite you to soften your body and relax your body by taking a few breaths. And we're gonna take these breaths in through the nose and then out of the mouth slow. In through the nose and out of the mouth. So staying with that. So we're gonna stay with this breath for a little while. Inhaling through the nose and out through the mouth, very slow. So you may notice that your mind is jumping around or you're feeling really a little antsy. 
I find that this breath takes me about 10 breaths for me to calm down. So let's stay with the breath. It may some days, some days even longer. So inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth, slow and fully letting it all out. And as you continue with this breath, feeling that you are being filled with white light, that white light is filling your whole body. And maybe you see the white light, maybe you sense it, maybe you turn on your imagination and you imagine the white light in your body and being. And what this white light is doing is just helping you release anything that you don't need in this moment. Anything that you don't need as you're meeting with friends or family. And as this white light fills your whole body, imagine that there is, that the white light is actually encompassing the whole space around your body, front and back, side and side. And we're creating right now a bubble of protection. So imagine this bubble of connection all around you. And this bubble of protection is here today to protect you from any person who may be triggering or challenging to you. Anything that's not yours that you come up against today as far as like someone else's bad behavior or ways of being, allowing their behavior and ways of being to be outside of your bubble so that you don't have to react. You can stay in your center. So imagining, and imagine, go ahead and do this. Imagine that you are sitting or you're in with your family right now or friends or wherever you are today. And imagine yourself fully protected and secure and in your own sweet loving bubble. This bubble that we're creating right now. So no matter what happens, you are safe here. And this bubble that we've created, this white light bubble, is only full of peace and love and acceptance. So imagine that the white light has literally pushed out any guilt, any shame, any expectations of how your food is supposed to be and how this day is supposed to be. And there's only a space of peace. Sending love and light to all of you, calming your nerves, wakening up your heart, waking up your heart for all the gratitude that you have for your life, for all of the good things that are present for you in your life, all of that goodness. Allow that goodness to spread into your body, into the space around you and into your eyes. May you see your life through this filter, filter of gratitude and thanksgiving today. And then gently and slowly open your eyes. As you open your eyes, allow your eyes to be open and stay with that experience and feeling that you're having. Hmm, so they say that they, <laughs> many people say that appreciation and thanks, thanks, thankfulness, thanksgiving is one of the highest vibrations of love that you can feel. 
And from that place of appreciation, we are magnets to what we're wanting to create in our lives. So if you're wanting to create more love, then we need to be thankful for the love that we have. If you're wanting to create more peace with your food, if you're wanting to create more gratitude for the body that you have, and you're wanting to find acceptance for your body that you have, then we need to find more appreciation. I know that's a big thing to do when we're not feeling it, right? But in, in this global, well, I guess maybe more American holiday of Thanksgiving, there's so much appreciation swarming through. This is a great time for us to do our gratitude practice for ourselves to really um, cement and imprint ourselves with that appreciation gratitude. So I know that um, sometimes we can push against it when it's just like, oh, everyone's all grateful for the day, right? No. Can you turn that inward and say, yes, I'm going to allow this energy to infiltrate me an imprint on me. All right. Much love to you. So grateful to you. Have a wonderful day. And if you don't, it's okay. Cause tomorrow is there for you. Mm -hmm. Much love.